At the end of the week, I'm going to be going on a long haul flight for about seven hours. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you the sort of things that I'm going to be taking along with me on the journey um, to make sure that when I get off the plane, my skin looks as fresh as possible. Because the air on planes is just so dry and it's all recirculated air and it's really not very good for the skin at all. Um, so I'm going to get straight into it. There's quite a bit here, so I'm going to try and be as fast as possible. Um, the first thing that I'll do when I get on the plane is I'll give my face a quick cleanse, just really, really light. I won't be wearing any makeup because we have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning to get the plane. So I can't be bothered to put makeup on at 4 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> frankly. Um, there just doesn't seem much point. So what I'll do, I'll face wipe over the face, just really quick, freshen up. Um, and then I will apply Akin or Akin, I don't know, rose hip oil. And this is really, really good. I've been using this daily for a couple of months and it's just lovely. Um, it's got vitamin A, vitamin E, and omega oils in it. Um, and it just, it really, really makes the skin look and feel nice. And then on top of that, I will put a spritz of just Evian facial, what's it called? facial spray um, and I'll just put that on and before that has a kind of chance to sink in or anything I will go ahead and put my moisturiser on which is Embryolisa Lay Foam Concentrate which I've spoken about before um, this is quite, it's quite a thick moisturiser for me I usually use it as a primer before makeup um, but I kind of need something slightly thicker when I'm flying otherwise my skin gets really dry so I'll put that all over and then I will go in and put on this eye serum, Pro Clara Eye Corrective Serum from Pro Medis, which is running out, but I'm gonna I've got this little Zunetta sample pot which had a foundation in that they sent me with my last order. I'm going to decant it into here um, just a little bit so that I don't have to take the whole bottle. Then I also have um, a spot treatment, just in case I have any little spots coming up. This will kind of stop them getting worse and the bacteria spreading because flying can make your skin a bit spotty. Um, and this is just Soap and Glory Doctor Spot. Okay, whew. In the morning before I've left the house, the first thing that I do when I get up is put a body moisturiser on so that my skin doesn't dry out on the flight. Obviously I'm not going to apply this on the flight because that would be weird. Um, but this is just Raspberries and Cream by Philosophy. And the reason I like this, and I actually save it for before flights, which is possibly a bit weird, um, is just because it's really light. It moisturises really well, um, but it just doesn't kind of sit on the skin or make the skin feel sticky at all, which would be really, really uncomfortable on a seven hour flight. Um, and it smells really nice and light as well. It's really fruity, but it's not kind of, it's not like over the top or like, it doesn't like make me headachey or anything at four o'clock in the morning because it's just a really delicate scent. I'll also have put um, my usual moisturiser on, which is Nukes Creme Fresh, And this is the Emulsion, which is for normal skin, which is really, really nice. And just makes my skin feel really comfortable. Um, but I won't be taking that on the plane because it's a big, heavy glass bottle. Right, where am I? Oh, lip balm. I know I talk about this all the time. Mullen Goetz Mojito Lip Balm. Just the best lip balm I've come across. There's, I don't go anywhere without it, so obviously I'm going to take it on the plane with me. Okay, the other thing that I always take with me on flights or even just on public transport because I'm kind of a bit stupid like that. I'm a bit of a germ phobe, so antibacterial hand gel. This one is from Bath and Body Works and it is Midnight Pomegranate. <sighs> Which again, really, really fruity smell. You can still smell the alcohol content in it, like you can with, you know, normal hand sanitizers, but um, it has a fruity scent as well. It kind of smells like a Cosmo, actually. Yeah, it does. It doesn't really smell very pomegranate y, but. Um, Really, really nice and much nicer than just putting like Dettol hand sanitizer on, which smells like Dettol. Okay, so once I've done all that, what I'll do every kind of hour and a half, two hours, I will 
Do another spritz of the Evian. 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 <laughs> I'll do another spritz of the Evian and another layer of moisturiser. And I'll just I'll be applying lip balm probably every ten minutes, knowing me. Um, and I'll just keep that up to make sure that my skin's really really hydrated by the time that I get there. I used to apply a face mask, um, either the Skin Suit or B fit. B vitamin face mask, vitamin B face mask, something like that. Um, or Ling Skincare Moisturising Mask. Can't remember the exact name of it. Um, I don't tend to bother with that anymore. I might take it just in case. Um, but I find actually that a really good moisturiser and the face spray it works just fine. Okay, so about an hour before we touch down. I kind of get a bit angsty because I don't like touching down. I'm fine when I'm in the air. I'm kind of fine taking off, but going down I, I get a bit panicky. So I'll distract myself by doing a bit of makeup, but I actually don't apply very, very much because I can't really, you can't really see what you're doing and the light isn't very good. And the first time that I flew back from Dubai, I decided I'd do my makeup really nicely and I couldn't see what I was doing and the light was so bad that actually I made myself look really, really orange with my bronzer. It was awful. I just had to go and wash it off. Um, so I don't do that anymore. So what I do is I will apply Becca Shimmering... Oh, I should be able to remember what this is. So I talk about it all the time. Shimmering Skin Perfector. This one's actually in Topaz, I think. No, it's not. It's Opal. Um, which is... It's a much lighter one, which is probably the best for my skin tone. But I actually like this because it warms up my skin and it makes me look a lot healthier when my skin looks really dull and tired. So I prefer using the Opal one. Um, and that just really lights up my skin. It's a highlighter, but I will use it all over my face. Um, after a flight because it just makes the skin look so much better. Then I will go in and use a tinted moisturiser. This one is Shantikai Just Skin, which has SPF 15 in it as well, and the colour I have is Bliss. Um, it's quite thick for a tinted moisturiser, but it's still kind of foolproof, so I can do it without really having to see exactly what I'm doing, and I know that I'm going to get a nice colour, and I won't look orange. <laughs> um, and it will look really even and just plain lovely. I don't have to worry about it. Um, if I have any kind of angry red spots, I'll go in with my Edward Bess Platinum Concealer, which is, it's quite a stiff formula, so it works really well on blemishes because it stays put. Um, and I will probably apply that with the Becca Small Polishing Brush. Um, with any spots I'll probably just dab this in but under my eyes and kind of any general redness I'll use this to really buff it into the skin and make it look more even. I've kept any mascara on, I'll put mascara on in the morning, it's the only makeup that I'll put on in the morning. Um, so that'll still be on and then I'll just go in with Dolce & Gabbana eyeliner in number two which I think is chocolate and it's just a plain brown but it has kind of slight flecks of gold in it so it will just prettify my eyes and make me look a little bit more awake and a little bit more done um, then finally I'll go through with NARS Orgasm blusher and a Bare Essentials brush and just buff that onto my cheeks um, I put a bit too much on today but just Again, just wakes up the complexion um, and makes me look like I'm not falling asleep or a zombie. Um, and then the final thing, which isn't a beauty thing, but it's an absolute must, that I need hard-boiled sweets on the journey. Okay, I actually need them. It's a real problem if I can't get them. I get in a really bad way. So I've got some Werther's Originals to keep me entertained while I watch films and just while away the hours. So that's it. Do let me know what sort of thing you take on a long haul flight. Have you been on a long haul flight this year? Um, I'm really interested to know what sort of things people take. People take as much as me or much less. Um, so do let me know. Thanks. Bye.